Now, Lord, I'm used to that scripture. But I love that scripture because of experience. Uh, bless him, Lord. We can look back at what the Lord did here, mm. what he did here, mm. and what he did here, mm. and what we're facing up ahead. Uh, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me because what's up ahead, the Lord's going to get me through this. Amen. Yes. Praise God. I love this song. I sung this song in Porcupine, South Dakota. We, just, we went there. We went back to South Dakota. And we drove 17 hours just to pray. My goodness. We walked a prayer walk in Wounded Knee and Porcupine and Pine Ridge and we laid hands on the drunks Amen. and told them there's hope in Jesus. Amen. But I sung this song in a little building at Porcupine on the hill. And it was amazing because a woman was coming who had cancer. Mm -hmm. Didn't have many, very many days to live. But she only she couldn't get out of the vehicle. But we went outside and laid hands on her in the name of Jesus. Amen. Last week I got a phone call from South Dakota. It was about the woman who was healed of cancer. Oh, praise God. Isn't that wonderful? I woke up this morning, and the Lord led me here. Praise God. I don't argue. I don't, I don't, I, I don't hesitate. I just go. Uh -huh. Amen. The Lord says. And I, I, one teenager was saved in Porcupine. Why do we drive 17 hours to prayer? Because it's biblical. We must break ground first before you plant seed. Amen. Amen. Because it's dark places where we go. So I say, well, don't. Thank you for your help. With the diapers and all that, uh, grandmothers had 12 grandbabies in one house. I see the babies here. Think about holding 12 grandbabies and 11 babies. But the Lord provided diapers and wipes. Thank you, know? Lord. See you, OCG. I give your shit, Jesus, and do it. It's stone, huh? Hello, how you doing? I'm hungry. I'm hungry for Jesus. Let's eat. Amen. Amen. I love this song. This is my band. My band never complains. <laughs> I never had to feed my band. But I used this in county jail, and I'll be in county jail tomorrow night. And I'm doing a Thanksgiving dinner Saturday, so if you know how to make cornbread dressing, I would love to talk to you oh. at the church. <laughs> but do it if the Lord leads you to do it. Amen? Amen. But uh, turkeys and stuff, I'm, I'm excited because it touches them in a mighty way. Mm. But I'm Hawaiian 5 old, I'm an evangelist, and I've been doing this 17 years. And I've been going to South Dakota for 15 years. Mm. Amen. I grew up in this called Bell. You don't know what Bell is at. Everybody heard of Bell. Yes. That's where I grew up. They say, don't go in there night time. <laughs> but I was one of the crowds. But what happened to Hawaii Five Bow? I had an encounter with Jesus. Amen. And I've never been the same. Oh, thank you. Thank all in my spirit for praying for me, my mom. But I told her, Mom, did you ever think one of your boys would be evangelist? She said, no. <laughs> you know, she's with the Lord. But I know she was proud of me. And uh, I just thank the Lord. I couldn't read. I didn't go past that grade. I was a chicken catcher for 16 years. I couldn't read or write. All I know that the Lord's using me. And uh, they call it a Paul's walk. He taught me. Mm -hmm. He took me to dark places for two years in South Dakota and showed me personally how powerful he was. Right. I love this song right here because he's in the midst. Amen. He's here this morning. Amen. I'm going to hold his hands. The one's going to save my loved ones. The one's going to heal my, my sick. The one's going to heal this land. The one's going to protect us. Because this world's not our home. We're just passing through. Mm. But I'm holding the hands. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's get a little bit candle. God bless y'all. Okay. <laughs> Without you, 
Oh! 